Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoked Beginnings, and today we're going to go over how to make pit barrel cooker salsa. It's smoky and delicious, it's super easy, so stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it step by step. The first step is going to be gathering the vegetables that you want to smoke on the pit barrel cooker. Here I have two tomatoes, I've got three cloves of garlic, I have two limes cut in half. I have a jalapeno pepper with the seeds removed. If you want a spicier salsa, then add three to four more jalapenos and leave the seeds in. I wanted a mild salsa, so I have one jalapeno pepper with the seeds removed and cut in half. I also have three tomatillos and one onion. All this is going to go on a smoker in addition to corn on the cob. I do recommend using either a grill basket or a grill tray that has some holes in it. It just makes moving the vegetables on the smoker a little bit easier. Now that the vegetables have been prepped, it's time to get them on the pit barrel cooker. And this cooker is running right around 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're cooking low and slow over some apple wood. The whole cooking process takes about an hour. I'm gonna check back in about 30 minutes to see the progress. So it's been about 30 minutes and it's time to check in on the vegetables. And as you can see here, things are definitely starting to get that color that we are looking for. Um, so I want to, what I'm looking for here is to see if there's any hot spots, to see if there's any vegetables that are cooking faster than others, and see if anything on the cooker needs to be moved. So over here, right where that arrow is, you are going to see a little bit of a hot spot. These uh, ears of corn are actually cooking a little bit faster than the other ones, so I'm going to go ahead and rotate everything. By rotating the vegetables, I'm ensuring that everything is cooked evenly. Once I have rotated all the vegetables, I'll go ahead and insert the rods again for airflow, close the lid, and then check back in another 30 minutes. So it's been about an hour and the vegetables are done. I went ahead and removed them from the cooker. And now what we want to do is to add all these vegetables into a food processor. So we'll add the tomatoes, the onions, the jalapenos, everything into the food processor and blend. Typically, I will either blend this or pulse it until I get the desired consistency. And then once I got the desired consistency, I'm going to go ahead and add all the ingredients to my mixing bowl. In the mixing bowl, I already have some drained black beans, and then I'm going to squeeze the lime into the bowl, and then I'm going to slice some of the corn off the cob that we smoked earlier and add that to the salsa as well. I added about two ears of corn. If you want more corn, totally up to you. But once I have all the ingredients in there, I'll go ahead and stir everything together. While you're stirring everything together, this would be the time to add additional seasoning. You could add salt, pepper, or your favorite barbecue rub. You're also going to want to add just a little bit of water to this to take down the spice level. Put the salsa in the refrigerator to chill for about an hour or two before serving. And there you have it, pit barrel cooker salsa. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.